first of all, we will grab two dark sand colored pieces that are six by eight long. And we'll just push them together like that. Doesn't really matter what color base you use. I just like the look of this um, dark sand color or tan, whatever you want to call it. And then we will grab two eight by one yellow bricks and put that one there and that one there and then a 6x1 yellow brick and clip that at the end and two 4x1 bricks and just clip them there and there now we will grab a whole bunch of brackets we're going to need 10 in total of these bracket pieces I like to call them doesn't really matter what color you use and we need 10 of them and we need two more yellow bracket pieces like this one like these so they've got the hole on the back and we need two of them then we're going to need nine two by one yellow bricks Right, we'll start by putting our yellow bracket pieces on the front of the container. And then we will put all of our bracket pieces on and make sure there are two studs between each one. come to the corner you go two studs in from the edge and same on the other side oopsie did something wrong this is meant to be there it's got to move them all in Go. and then we'll fill in all the gaps with our two by one yellow bricks all right if done correctly it should look like this Now we need to put two layers of these plates around the edge. Make sure they're yellow or whatever colour you want to do your container in. So once you're done, we're going to repeat the same process that we used for this lower level of 10 pieces with the studs on the side. As you can see, I'm not matching the colours because it really doesn't matter, you can't see it. Only on the inside. And 
side. I've got two pieces that's got studs on both sides. And that doesn't matter either. I just like to put them right at the back. And we're also going to need nine two by one bricks. And two of the yellow little bracket pieces with the studs on the side. Like this, and we'll do it exactly the same way as before. There we go. Done. And we need to put three layers of bricks around the top. There we go. Now it should be the whole container should have one layer of bricks, a piece with the stud on the side, two plate, two plates, another piece with the stud on the side, and three bricks high. Now let's create the roof. Alright, we will need a 6x6 six six sand coloured plate, two 10x2 two sand coloured plates, two 6x2 two sand coloured plates, two 6x6, six six, another two, so that's four 6x2 six sand coloured plates, and a 4x4 four four sand coloured plate. Also going to need three 6x2 yellow plates. Now, do it upside down again and figure it like this. So we've got our two 10x2 two plates, a 4x4 four four plate, and then our two 6x2 six two plates on the inside. Then we grab our 6x2 yellow plates and just lock everything together. Maybe it's easier to put everything on individually. And now we will put on put, put these two pieces together like so and clip that just on the end like that. And we grab our six by six plate and clip that on the front so it's overhanging one stud. We go, the whole roof should look like this, and then we'll clip it on the top just like that. Right now, 
now to fill in these two gaps here, we are going to need two 2x2 two two sand colored plates. And they just fill it in nicely. There we go. Now we need to create the ridges that run down the side. Now, these need to be eight studs high. So you can make it doesn't really doesn't matter how you make them, just as long as they're eight studs high and two plates wide like that. And we're going to need ten of them. And I've already made another nine here. As you can see, they're all a little bit different as long as you end up with 10 of them. Doesn't matter. Now I'll put them on so that they're sitting flush with the top. First grab a 8 by 2 yellow plate, 2 4 by 2 yellow plates, just clip that onto the edge like that. And then we are going to need to grab a 2 by 2 yellow tile and a 2 by 2 yellow plate and just clip them together so they create an L. This just goes at the bottom, and we need 4x2 yellow tile, and we need to grab a 1x1 one one little stud, and a 2x1 plate, and that just clips on like that, so it should look like that, and then we need to put one more tile on the top and if you flip it around it should look like this now in these gaps here we need to grab two sand colored clip pieces that are two by two two by one sorry and we just clip them there and there and then we just flip it back around should look like this and we need to grab a 2 by one yellow piece with the edge and we need to clip a little one by one stud on the bottom of that Oops, it needs to be on this side. There. And that just goes at the bottom. And then we grab another 2 by one yellow plate with the edge, and that just goes at the top. And our first door is almost done. We're also going to need another 2 by one edge piece. And that just goes at the bottom. Oops. And now, we, for the handle, we grab a one by one stud, a one by one yellow wedge, a one by one yellow clip, and that just goes there. And then we grab a yellow rod and clip that on. So the door should look like this when it's finished. Now we'll crack the other door. Pretty much. Right. For the second door, we grab an 8x2 yellow plate, two 2x4 two yellow square tiles, 
two yellow two by one pieces and we just clip them on the bottom like that and that and that just clips on there and then we need to grab another little two by two tile and clip that on there and grab a one by one start and clip that one there. It should look like that. And then we need two four by two yellow plates. Clip that one there. That one there. Like that. And then we just flip it upside down and put on our two clip pieces. One there. there. Then we're going to also need a 3x2 yellow plate and that just goes here. Then we're going to need two 2x1 two yellow plates, two 1x1 one one yellow tiles, and two one by one yellow stud pieces. And we just clip them together like this. Just like that. And then we create a second one. And that just goes there. And we put one at the bottom. And one at the top. Just like that. And then if we flip it around. And we grab an edge, two by one piece with an edge. Clip that one there and grab a little start and put that one there to finish it off. Flip it back around, grab another edge piece, grab another two and put one there, top, and one there at the bottom. And for the handles again, we grab our little one by one stud and clip that three from the top, three from the bottom, in the middle, grab a clip piece, clip it on top of the stud, grab a yellow wedge, put that one there and then grab a rod and just clip that on, just like that. Oops, sorry, I forgot on the other door that we just created, we're going to need a 3x2 plate and clip that one at the top. Like that. So they're close to the same, except this one just has this so that when they lock them, you can't open it up without opening this one first. Now we'll clip it on, we grab four black clip pieces like this and just clip it on facing that direction and just push them in like that there we go and then we just clip these here on and they just clip onto the black like that and we do and there we go now you may be wondering what these are for. So when you close it, you adjust a few things. That closes all nicely. It's square. So when you close it, you can't open it up with this door first. You need to open up this one and then that one and close it in reverse. That one first and that one. We need to put some stands on the bottom. So to do that, we need four one by one yellow studs, and just clip them all on on the corners. There we go. And I like to put this trailer. Not the trailer. I like to put this cargo container on the trailer that has 
cupboard pieces and with the doors facing out and we just clip it on like that and we are done pretty cool thanks for watching this tutorial I'll be posting the last few parts of this series weekly so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on them and thanks for watching